everyone and welcome to my channel. I will be doing a more of a political based vlog um, on the current state of the election as as I speak in my time zone it is 11 o'clock at night. So far Donald Trump at this point is winning the vote 236 to 209 in the Electoral College. Now, you could say that for me it doesn't mean anything. I'm a white male in suburban Texas. But I'm also a liberal Democrat. I believe that gays should that I that supporting gay marriage is very is key to my beliefs. Supporting the LBGT community in general, first off. Secondly, just supporting people's social rights. Now, I mean, I want to point out that murder is not next. Come on. Second, so you do have a social right to bear arms. You do not have a social right to kill people with them. And that's what the assault ban is supposed to stop. That all aside, though. When I actually feel fear on losing an election, I'm afraid to lose this election. I am deeply afraid to lose this election. Because I fear, not just on my part, but on the part of so many Clinton supporters of Clinton loses, Trump supporters of Trump loses, that there will be physical retribution of some kind. I don't know if there will be. The uncertainty scares me. If there's the possibility that coming out as a Clinton supporter could put my life at risk, that scares me. And based on what's been said throughout the campaign, that's not unreasonable. It's not unreasonable to see. It's very, very likely that that could happen. Those of you that supported Trump, this is not meant to sting on you. This is not meant to sting on you at all. I'm pretty sure there are Trump supporters out there who are afraid of losing the election as well. And for the same reason that I have. Because this election has been so severely toxic in terms of what both candidates have said about each other and the supporters on the other side, that the end could just as easily be as sour as the rest of it. That this four years could just very well be the end of America. The beginning of America's end. I don't like that. I'm in college. That's the end of my future. If America ends, what do I do? There's not going to be a job for me. I'm going to have no way to make money. I'm going to have no way to make ends meet, no matter what I've done in college. And because of that, that means I have no future. I chose Clinton for very simple reasons. Free Public tuition is a big one. I'm in college, so of course I'm going to vote for that. Second, though, because she supports social freedoms. Those are my only two reasons. A little bit to do with the economy and a lot to do with social values. People who voted for Trump voted for the economy, and that that's a fair reason in my mind. That is a fair reason to vote for someone. You had a reason. As long as you didn't vote without knowing who they were. If you if you paid attention throughout the campaign and made an educated vote, good on you. Then I don't care. Except to say this. If Hillary wins, I really don't want to see Clinton supporters beating up on Trump supporters. And I don't want to see Trump supporters 
beating up on Clinton supporters if Clinton wins. Or vice versa, if they lose, I don't want to see that happening to the side that won. I feel like I'm in a lose-lose situation having voted at all. Which is not good. I feel like no matter what I do, coming out as a Clinton supporter will put a target on my back. Be it for a gun, or any other kind of weapon. Whether you say that it's illogical or not, is mute. It, 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 it's moot. Because guess what? This election has been that toxic the whole time. And I mean, it makes me wonder how Muslims feel right now. I, I, I really feel bad for them. Look at what Trump has said about them throughout the entire election, and you'll see that he's never really said anything positive to that community. He hasn't said anything positive to the black community, to the Hispanic community. The only positive group in his mind has been white men. So, for anyone who voted him for economic reasons, again, that's your decision. Just like it's my decision to be afraid of whatever the result is. So, with that in mind, I would like to log this vlog off with the idea that, please, please people, don't, don't commit any act of violence after this election. If you want to protest, do so peacefully. Please do so peacefully. For the san safety and sanity of everyone involved. Goodbye, and I'll see you in the next episode.